a lot of people here. I think this is the group cultivation area. Oh, yeah, I think it is. Because it's a nice, above everything else, pretty area. Okay, so if you find a sacred place, you cultivate faster. Sacred page such as this will have greatly increased your cultivation speed. That's why grandmasters and ardent pupils come to meditate in these locations. Sacred places benefit skills corresponding to the mountain, forest, cave, water, and snow. This location here is one such sacred place. Path to mastery requires dedication and patience. Remember this. Yes, Shifu. <laughs> Remember that. Yeah, that is uh, quite a lot of people. So this is the team training. There are ten rounds, and you're going to go through a little dance, apparently, inside the ground. But each round, in this case, in the upper hand corner, I have ten seconds left, and then it'll be another round. It'll have another one of those little mini games where it tells me to hit these keys in a certain amount of time. As long as I hit the keys, I get the points for it. And then it goes to the next round. So I got it again. I'm not entirely sure how to get involved with the rest of the people. I don't know if I have to pick the same one they're doing or how that works. Have you ever got to do it in sync with somebody else? You know, I kind of got the impression that if you're just doing it in there with them, that it was kind of, that, that, that it all worked. I'm not sure. I thought, because I had seen videos that shows everybody doing it together, but on my screen it's just me. And I'm, I'm like cutting into the ground, it's kind of funny, but that's a graphical Yeah, thing, same here. There were four options when I started. Let's let's stop. Yeah. There's a lot of people here. They're all doing it in sync too. Maybe if I I like that Joey Fatone. What was that? Wow, oh, you said something about in sync. I was just saying I like Joey Fatone. <laughs> this one is apparently twenty five different steps here. Hmm. Wonder how you join them. Smooth finish. Cause I guarantee you by joining them you're probably gaining more. Yeah, I'm wondering if it's like a big uh, group like invite thing, um, like like a raid formation or something. Let's see, rules. Select the sets on the right and click to open. Enter and get ready. Invite players who are getting ready to participate in the team practice. Once the team practice begins, you'll be assisted to play a game according to the hints. Corresponding keys, get the score. Okay, where you at? I am right here. Let me... I see. If you hit escape... Is there a... Uh... Oh, there we go. going to choose the first one. 
do we need to uh, use it to invite um, group? The, I see a bunch of holes. Can you jump in? Oh, something came up. Invite players for team practice. Oh, here we go. It popped up on my screen. Okay, so now you're in one of the spots, right? Yeah, you are. So yeah. if I start this, we should be good. Let me invite more people. See if we can get people to pop in here. It's kind of a neat concept. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, let's just start, I guess. So the two of us should do this in sync. Yep, we are. I like it. It's like, you know what I'm going to do before I even do it. I'm psychic, man. It's kind of creepy. Hmm, nothing came up on my screen for that one. Popped up on mine. Maybe it takes turns between players. It might, because it says two consecutive. Hmm. Well, let's see if this one comes to me and not you. Did you get that one? No, nothing on my screen. Yeah, I got it. That That's pretty cool. It really is a team thing. That is pretty slick. I like it. And it says the more people doing it, you can get large amounts of cultivation done quickly. Oh, it's got the timer on top of the person that's doing it. You can see that my hands were all blue glowy. This number's in the upper left-hand corner, too. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, my turn. This is neat. Very unique. I haven't I haven't seen anything like this in a game before that I can think of. Nothing springs to mind, not especially not group. Well, and this is all related to experience, and this is I've never seen a game that has experience this way, so very, very unique. And as sad as it is, the first time I did this, um, I uh, kind of messed up the first round. The first round? Wow. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm used to, you know, like, you know, keyboarding it up and... and the strings uh, get a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, yeah. The um, I don't know. I'm used to you know using WASD, and so when it said you know down right, I'm like oh, okay SD. <laughs> oh, he didn't use the arrow keys. Yeah, the second I did it, I'm like wow, I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm used to uh, rhythm games, so I was I was at home. <laughs> Three more rounds. A little time consuming, but I can see it paying off if you need to level up that skill quickly. I 
I'm curious how it's going to work. What do you mean? Well, it was saying that um, it does, you know, large amounts of cultivation, you know, quickly. So, I mean, it seems like we're just really doing the same amount of time. <laughs> if it's going to be, like, exponentially larger, or exactly how it's going to work. Because, I mean, it's the same amount of time invested, so does that mean it's going to be that much more that we're gaining? I assume so, because in the upper right-hand corner it says 5,800. That's a lot of cultivation. I don't know if that's what we've gained, but that's a lot. Oh, yeah, I see it now. Yeah, up to 63. Hey, mine just dropped down to 62. Mine's at 57. Oh, that might be what we need. Hmm. Well, let me look. See, yeah, team cultivation looks like we got 500 points. Whereas if we'd have done that solo, we would have gotten 1,000. So we only got half? That can't be right. No, I don't I don't think that I don't think so. I don't think we just got five hundred. I'm not entirely sure how that works to be honest. Hmm. I know that the number in the upper right hand corner was the number we needed. That was how much you needed to finish your skill you were working on. Oh, I see. Oh, that makes sense why it would go down then. as I was gaining. I assume. Very cool. Or Plus, it could be... wonderful view. Yeah, I really don't know. This is just so unique. The system is so unique that it's, it's counterintuitive because of it. Um, you're so used to it working one way that when you do it a different way, it... I don't know. This is very different. The uh, the one where you, where you do the, um, the 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 team cultivation like this for the uh, the ladies school, <laughs> it's like way up on on like you can't even see the ground anymore. You're so high up on this mountain, and there's just clouds beneath you, and it's oh, it is gorgeous. It is such an amazing wow. view. The one yeah, for the it's... scholar, you're just on a bridge. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this one it looks like you're like you're like like as if you're up in this you know, this this building that's up in um you know, like on a mountain top and it's it's just breathtaking. Hmm. That was also where I learned that if you uh decide to you know, while well, there's waterfalls there, if you jump off the mountain <laughs> you die. <laughs> It's, I would it's, imagine that, 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 that landing isn't a good one <laughs> <laughs> Can't fly yet, man No, I cannot I tried, though Okay, let's try Let's look at the shop So this is the cash shop It looks like they're calling it the rare item shop And uh, Looks like there's two shops There's a point shop, too I'm not sure what the point shop is I don't know. But the gold shop is the currency shop. So you've got all kinds of gear here. There's mounts. Strategies. These must be for crafting. Yeah, this is a 30-day boost to your fishing in this case. And then ornamental sets, headwear, these are, these look like they're just, uh, uh, looks, uh, aesthetics. They have a timer on them, 30 days. Trade Center. This is where you would set up a stall so you can sell stuff. Here's your school information, all the different positions and such. I'm not 
sure where this is. There's definitely a lot here. What's this? Guild killing? Daily experience. Huh. I guess these are just things to do. It says deal with the troublemakers. I have a 60% progress. Challenge a faction. Zhang Hu experience. Make a livelihood and learn how to earn a living. Oh, I see. So if you hover over it, it tells you. So I hear you'll get you'll get experience if you can get grade B or better reputation by challenging a faction that has the same skill level as you. Complete your tasks to increase your cultivation and experience. Hmm. Guess like daily tasks. We know what that one is. VIP status. The mailbox. And there's definitely a lot going on. I guess at this point we could just go under the task. down here. Here it is. The missions. Uh, daily events. There's novice tasks you can go do. The school spy stuff. High experience. Looks like it goes on all day. The factions one. Players are no longer under beginner protection. And then instances. So if I choose here, it lists a bunch of instances. So, once again, uh, we're at a point now where when we finish the tutorial, there's not a whole lot more to do. Um, you just kind of have to go out and decide what you want to do next and, and go from there. Actually, he had a quest, I think I saw. Oh, he's... He's showing us how to do what we've already done. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know why it had me open the shop. Yeah, it's weird. I think it's going to want me to actually start this. Cancel out. Oh, it actually wants me to complete another team practice again. Oh, uh, no. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to do that right now. That's that's time consuming. A little bit. Uh, this is making me nervous. Is walking up this way. Am I gonna make it down here without dying? If uh, if you're nervous, go ahead and do a double jump right now. No, no, that's okay. <laughs> It'll be safe. Oh, I'm sure. It would, would I would I steer you wrong? Absolutely. Whoa! What does that guy have? That was like a whip-looking thing. Oh, that's cool. like guy avenging the other guy. Oh, wow, yeah. I think I caught a little blood splur spray there. <laughs> they are doing some pretty crazy stuff. I don't know what kind of weapon that is. That's cool. If it wasn't for the fact that I would get splattered, I would join in. I think that was... Uh... Scorpion's uh, hand thing. <laughs> I think I heard him scream, get over here. I think I heard that. It, it kind of looked like that's what was happening there for a second. I 
So while we're heading back to Immortal Zingyang, what do you think overall? Um, let's start with the experience system. What do you think of the experience system? It's very different, very unique. Um, I am not really keen on the idea of not, you know, of of of, of it not giving me all the experience that I've earned like right away. But I don't really think that it's honestly an issue. I mean, the way the the cultivation and everything works, I think that it's uh, it's it's pretty cool, and, and I like. I like that there's, you know, it's not just straightforward. So, I mean, initially I was thinking, you know, wow, that's that sounds like a horrible idea, but, you know, in practice, I actually, I kind of dig it. Yeah, it reminds me of EVE Online, actually. Um, it's not exactly the same concept, but in EVE Online there really is no leveling system. It is, you are what you've learned, and learning is in real time. Now, where EVE Online for every player is always going. So if it takes 24 hours to train this skill, it's 24 hours whether you're on or not. Um, this game, you're only it's only going when you're offline if you're a paying subscriber. I think everybody's a paying subscriber in EVE, though. It's that, that's the only other time I've seen anything like it, where it's based off of a physical time frame. Um, on the other hand, though, it's that kind of thing where you set your alarm on your phone or whatever to go off when it's been an hour and a half so you can set something else training so you're not wasting time, you know. It's uh an interesting concept. I uh I I'm not too incredibly keen on the fact that you're not getting 100% of your experience either, but I don't really see anything bad by that because I I look at it almost the opposite. I look at it as 70% is normal. 70% experience is what the normal players get. And then if you want to pay to be a VIP, you get 30% extra experience. That's just kind of the way I look at it. Um, so everybody has that baseline, and if they want to pay for more, it's just like buying pots, you know, experience potions. Um, you get 30% faster. Um, interesting concept. I I don't know if it would be something that would grow fonder on me or if it would just be frustrating when it got to the point where it would be 24 hours to level something. But, uh, I don't know, it seems cool. What do you think of combat? Actually, it's... I, I, I really, really like it. It's, um, I mean, f from my experience so far, you know, I've played, you know, a couple different characters now, and getting into the combat, you know, system, it's, um... It's it's really kind of interesting the way the you know I mean as you've seen some of the um, the different weapons you know and the way that the fighting styles work um, I mean being able to you know flip around in the air and flying and attacking and I mean it's it looks I mean not only does it look spectacular and look like it does in the movies but you really kind of get that that feel to it also I mean it it it, it gives you that excitement I I huge fan I really do like it. I agree. I um, while I do enjoy the combat on my other character more than this character, um, the the scholar s style of combat, I I do feel that the combat is very visceral. It feels it feels like you're doing it. I, I don't know how else to explain that. It, it it feels like you're in this battle. The the reaction times and and things like that. It feels really good. And while I thought the combat was good just by going through the basic combat we did here and what I did my other character, seeing those higher level guys fight just makes me look forward to what the combat will become. Um, they were jumping all over the place and flipping swords all over the place, and then that other guy had a weapon I didn't even see listed on any of the schools we had addressed. So it looks like there's a lot to the combat system in this game. That is absolutely a strong point of this game. Definitely, definitely, yeah. So, the UI and the way the game presents itself. What do you what do you think of that? Initially, it's. I mean, there's there's really no other way to say it. It, it when you first log in, it's painful. But there's when when you when you open up the um, the customization areas, there's so much that that you can um, change around. And I mean, to the you know the, all the different stuff, the information that's shown on the screen from the various players, all the the guild information. There's so many things that you can um, add or subtract 
that uh, for people that are you know minimalists, um, for people that you know like having everything there, I think it's I think it's very well done um, once you get into it. Um, I kind of wish that it was that there would be a little on the tutorial about that, that it would you know start you out with the minimalist approach and allow you to add to it rather than just giving you everything. But yeah, I, I can see an argument for it being done you know the way it is too. So. Um, I think, all in all, once once everything's you know set up correctly and in the way the way that you like it, I'm a fan. Yeah, I'm with you on that. It, it it seems to start out, and I think painful is the best way to put it. There's a chaos that's going on when you first log in. But when I did the the second time coming in on this new character for the recording session, I feel that I had a better understanding of what was going on on the screen. It wasn't quite as overwhelming. Um, the best advice I can give players coming in, whether you're someone that's going to stick with this game or end up not liking it, is, is give it a chance. Um, don't let that initial WTF factor deter you from playing this game, because there is a lot of very impressive things in this game, and once you get past the initial chaos, order does come to the chaos. Um, overall, I think it's a solid game. From what I've seen, I can tell that there is a lot more I haven't seen. Um, I find myself wanting to go out and explore. I find myself wanting to know more about the professions, about the musician aspect, and things like that. And I find an anticipation for my first PvP battle on how that would go, and would I be ready, and would I know my character well enough, and you know things like that. I feel that the game has that draw that is needed for a new MMO, that, that unknown that you want to explore. Um, being free to play is a huge plus for it. Plus, they are advertising a lot right now. Pretty much any media you go to, it's there. Internet, TV, radio, everywhere you go, you're going to hear something about this game, uh, which is fantastic. Um, that's It shows they have confidence in their product, and they are, you know, putting their money behind their, their game. They're they're showing that this is something they're taking seriously, which I have to I have to respect that. Um, so overall, what do you what do you think of the game? Overall, it's a really cool game. I really like it. It's one of those that I can definitely see myself, you know, ever so often coming back in and playing. I don't think it's going to be my uh, my main game at any at any point. <laughs> but like you said, I mean, you know, the the because I mean, the, the the PvP aspects, since that's a, such a huge part of the game, so much so that they you know flat out you know have a warning window pop up when you first get into the game, saying this is an open world PvP. For me, I'm not a PvP guy. I I really don't don't enjoy that. You know, just because I'm usually the one that's that's caught out there solo and. <laughs> And getting my butt handed to me, um, it's it's just not my thing. But all the other aspects of the game seem really cool. So I, I, I guess I could I could see myself, you know, ever so often checking the game out, logging in, playing a little bit here and there. That probably is going to be about it for me, though. Yeah, I think that this game is absolutely aimed towards the PvP player. And there have been other games like that, uh, things like Warhammer Online and uh, EVE Online, which we just spoke about. Um, games that, if you're not into the PvP aspect, you're you're really not going to enjoy the game at all. And this game is another one of those games. If you are a PvP player at heart, uh, this game is calling your name. But if you're not a PvP player at heart, it's not for you, because it's always going to be going on. If you're that person that adamantly picks the PvE server over the PvP server, probably not going to be the game of choice. Um, but, on the other hand, I mean, I assume that half players love PvP, so there are plenty of people out there that will adore this game. And the IP they've chosen and the aesthetic and the style, it is very well, very well executed. And uh, lovers of the martial arts genre like myself, and uh, lover of this Asian aesthetic and feel will just eat this up. It, it, it's uh, I could definitely see it having a, a good future um, without question. Okay, so uh, leave in the comments below 
um, if what you thought of the game um, as you watched us play through and as we, we explored the basic ideas of the game, what did you think? Is this a game that you would jump into? Is this a game that um, you would play? And do you like PvP? Is PvP something that uh, that you attracted to, or is PvP something you avoid? Um, very interested to see the comments of our, our viewers on the PvP aspect of the game. Okay, well, that is it for us with Age of Ushu. Um, let us know if you'd like to see more of this game, and uh, we will see you guys next time.